Um, okay. What's this? Hey dragons, this is Dragon Snip and welcome back to another video. And yes, we are doing another squishy. But unlike the other three squishies that I did for my Halloween video, which was right here, you can go watch it when like whenever you want to. I'm making this squishy into my cat. If you guys don't know my cat, his name is Ravage. He is my three year old Maine Coon Tabby Cat mix. Um he looks more tabby cat than Maine Coon. Um but don't tell him that. So yeah, I'm gonna be turning this um squishy into my kitty cat. The heart, I have an idea for it. Probably gonna turn it into my favorite colors, but other than that, yeah. I'm excited to turn this kitty into a my into a what now? Into my cat! It's so soft. Why would I want to paint on him? So squishy and um so let's go over to my art decks and let's turn this cat into my cat. I already said that already. Just come on, let's go. Okay, so I'm just prepping the squishy now and I'm just going ahead and using my scissors to cut the um like bumps that I want to get rid of. So after cleaning up my surface, it's time to actually prime it with the black uh, puffy paint, which will haunt me later in this um, video. So after I'm done with that, it's time to add the res slick, slick, slick paint. Oh my god, I can't really pronounce it. Slick paint onto the squishy, which this will also betray me later in the video. So after I layer multiple layers of that, I just, um, what is going on? on here. I just decided to record this part and this is the one thing I'm showing you guys. After this interruption, I decided to go ahead and prime it with the white uh, paint, not black paint, white paint. This will also betray me later. So I'm going to add multiple layers to the front and after I'm adding these multiple layers to the front and getting it all primed and ready, it's time to flip it over to the other side. Now, I only uh, shot one scene of me adding layer, but I do add multiple layers to the back, including the bottom. Now I'm adding the colors to it. I didn't like this color and I had planned to change it, but then things didn't go as planned. What? Yeah, this happened. I was squishing it and it popped and all the paint came undone. So after peeling it all off, it damaged the squishy and now I have to restart over once again and now I'm just cleaning up my surface area uh, getting all that paint off of it I'm bringing out the squishy again out one more time and I'm going to add black paint to it actually no I actually sand it first and got off some paint that was just felt a little bit too bumpy and now I'm adding the black paint for some reason, no matter how many times I actually sand this squishy, the paint wanted to come off still, but not completely. Now I don't show this completely, I actually just, um, I fixed the bottom, I grabbed foam that I had and fixed the bottom, I don't show it on video, because I jumped to the white paint, because I fixed it all off the of camera, because I just felt like you guys didn't want to watch me fixing it up again. So I just set them aside, and now I'm grabbing out my luscious, well not luscious, my beautiful paint. This is also the reason why I wasn't able to get out last week because I was waiting on that brown paint. So this is mistake number three, four, god knows how many mistakes I made in this video. I was mixing the wrong colors and I wasn't happy with the colors I was mixing. I was trying to get it as close as I possibly can to ravage my cat, my three-year-old cat that I was painting this um, squishy after. So I painted him this brown, just chocolate brown, and I still wasn't liking it. I, I, I was just not liking that paint, the color on him. Then I changed the color again to this kind of yellowish brown, and I wasn't liking it still. So after I add the layer of the paint on him, I let him dry, and I'm pulling out the big guns this time, this bin. Instead of just leaving the paint out to dry on the paint palette, I'm going to mix all of my colors in this bin and they will last me for a very long time until they decide to go, well, dry out on me. So this mixing color part took me forever to mix all the colors that I want it, wanted into the paint palette. Well, not paint palette, the, um, the, uh, uh, what's it called? The bin? The thing with holes? The thing that holds paint? Uh, I don't know. It's time to get this uh, the squishy on the road 
And as I was painting the squishy, I still didn't like the colors, but I don't have time to kind of figure out the exact colors that I want, so it's time to move on to the details. I poured out, pour out some black, and at this time, I was actually running out of white paint, and I officially, by the time this video will come out, I am officially pretty much completely out of white paint. So, yeah, I'm just fixing up a few areas, and now adding the details um, I had a reference of my cat on the side, like on the side, because my cat wouldn't hold still for me to get a reference of him. So I'm just um, have a reference of him on the side. I'm now mixing the pink color for his nose because I completely forgot to mix pink for his nose, white to the stomach. I had attempted to blend, but my blending skills aren't the greatest at this moment, so I'll, I just kind of fix it later. The muzzle isn't supposed to be white, but because he had like this little muzzle that I probably should have taken care of at the very beginning, I made it white, and it just didn't feel right without um, something there. Ravage, my cat, doesn't have a white muzzle to him, but I added it in there anyways. I'm just fixing up a few more things after I, I messed up a little bit, and... After fixing up everything, after I added the other details, I'm now mix going ahead and do the heart, which is this mistake. Um, I don't know. I didn't like the black, so I just let it dry, and I added uh, the details to the lips, uh, fixed a few things to the head, put them aside, and now I'm pu pulling out my red paint, and I'm painting the heart red, which for some reason I have a hard time kind of getting red to get like opacity. So I'm just bringing in the blues, and I mix it with red. My mix, and I don't like it completely, but it's better than nothing. So I let it dry, add the black little paw print onto the heart. I probably should have said I love you to the heart, but I wasn't thinking about that. Add my signatures, and he is done. <laughs> Um, if you guys like to join the Dragon Family, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit that uh, notification bell to be notified. Like this video, comment down below, and of course share this video with your friends and family. And, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, next week, I will be doing something with tie-dye and shirts and stuff, so it'll still be painting for this video. Well, not for this video, next week. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later. I hope you guys have a happy holiday and a happy new year. And I'll see you guys in the next video. New video. Be safe out there, guys. Bye, guys. It's you. See? It's you.